I lost 35 pounds and I managed to keep it off. And keeping it off can sometimes be the hard part. But when I tell you guys, it's not just about diet, it's not just about exercise, but it's about rewiring and reframing your whole approach when it comes to weight loss. And the moment I started to romanticize my weight loss journey, the weight literally just started to move off. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sierra, and today I'm gonna to be giving you guys eight tips to help you fall in love with taking care of yourself. Really learning to romanticize the process of losing weight, like romanticize your weight loss journey. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and hop into the video. Okay, so first things first is we have to change our mindset. We gotta get rid of the stinking thinking. We gotta get rid of the negative thoughts. We gotta stop thinking that weight loss is a hard journey. We have to stop thinking that it's gonna take forever and a day to get there. We have to start believing it in ourselves. And sometimes it can kind of be hard to make that shift within your head. So I'm gonna be giving you guys a few tips to kind of help shift your mindset into the place where you want to be. And that would be first things first is learning to do some guided meditations. And you can find these on YouTube. And the thing with guided meditations, they can help really put you in the place of your higher self. And meeting with your higher self, visualizing your higher self is gonna help her pop out a little bit sooner. So spend time with your higher self. Figure out what she looks like, what she wears, what's her size, what kind of bikinis does she wear, what does she weigh. So really start to visualize that higher self that you have. And a way to actually visualize is sometimes you just gotta take it back to elementary school. You gotta get in your imagination. I know you guys remember when you used to have a crush on a boy and you'll sit around thinking about your life and like, oh my God, I like him so much. Like just, you know, imagine it, life scenarios. Think about that for yourself. Romanticize how it's gonna feel when you finally achieve your goal. Romanticize how it's gonna feel when you can finally get into those to that pair of jeans. Romanticize how it's gonna feel when you finally see the number that you wanna see on the scale. Like, tap into that emotion, tap into that feeling. And if you even still have a hard time doing that, something that you guys can do is make a vision board. I like to make a vision board on Pinterest sometimes have a vision board specifically titled body goals. And sometimes even if I'm in a place of like low motivation, when I get on the treadmill, I'm looking at my vision board of the body goals. And obviously we all have different bodies, so I'm not necessarily gonna look like Lori Harvey or anything, but I can be pretty damn close, you know what I mean? So take the time to love on yourself, visualize yourself and spend that time with yourself. That's the thing. We have this life where everything's on the go, on the go, on the go. But take the time to really sit with yourself, sit with your higher self so she can pop out. So tip number two is going to be find a diet and a lifestyle that kind of works for you, essentially. Some people do good on vegan. Some people do good on keto. Some people do good on pescatarian. Some people do good on vegetarian. Specifically for myself, vegetarian life works best for me. I occasionally do eat seafood just because... I don't like to eat the fake meats and the fake processed vegan or vegetarian food is because it's like, it's still chemicals. It's not real stuff. So think about that when you're finding a diet approach that works for you. Um, and the thing that I think works so best about the vegetarian diet is you're eating more real whole foods. Like you're eating more fruits, you're eating more vegetables. And another tip I have for you guys is to learn how to grocery shop and romanticize actually grocery shopping. Shop on the perimeter of the stores where there's actual real food. And I know we're in like a bad economy kind of time, but like find grocery stores to where you can get like fresh, good food or like I feel like if you go shop at a Whole Foods, like it's just a different kind of vibe. Or if you can't afford Whole Foods, start to go to the farmer's market and get like some quality food for yourself. And that's the thing, like we go into these grocery stores and they're pumping so much stuff into our foods. Like if you think about it, the things that are in the middle of the grocery store, they contain preservatives to keep them fresh to have, so they can have a long shelf life. They have lots of chemicals. It's just like, if you really think about it, we don't need all this stuff that is inside of the foods. And if there's like a favorite food that you like, learn how to make it for yourself. Like follow your girl, Nara Smith on TikTok. She's making everything from scratch. But you have to fall in love with make sure you're putting the best stuff inside of your body. Like literally. You have to make exercise a daily activity kind of thing. I don't know, I just kind of 
feel like some people don't even start exercising until they actually start gaining weight. But it is so important to make sure that you're moving your body every single day. And exercise doesn't have to look strenuous. Exercise doesn't have to be, oh, going to the gym and spending two hours there. Like, give yourself 30 minutes a day to moving your body. And this can be done by walking your neighborhood. This can be done walking at work. This can be done doing a YouTube video. It's like, you're, you guys don't have to make it as hard as it is. Like, then the beauty of like giving yourself that 30 minutes of the day, like just simply go outside, like fall in love with the scenery, take yourself to a nice place to go walk and spend that time with yourself. Um, something that I personally like to do, some people may not like to do this, but is track your activity. Um, and I do this because I'm a short girly. My calorie expenditure is not as large as like most people. So I simply have to move my body more or I have to eat less. And the thing is, you don't wanna have to drop your calories too low because one, that's not sustainable. But if you're moving your body a little bit more, it's gonna even itself out. So specifically for me, I have a goal where I like to burn a thousand calories a day. And if I don't, you know what? We're gonna hit it the next day. Like some people have a, a get your steps in 10K kind of thing. Just walk in your free time, walk around your apartment, walk around your house. Like you don't have to make it as hard as it is. Or it's going to be a little bit of some tough love for you guys, but you have to stop lying to yourself. You're giving yourself too much grace throughout this process because the fact is if you want something, you're gonna get it. And it's like, stop disappointing yourself because you won't hold yourself accountable. Learn to be honest with yourself and get your shit together. Like, it's just as simple as that. And it's like, the more you keep breaking promises to yourself, you are breaking trust with yourself. It's like, and then that kind of goes to that mindset piece. It's like, you're not going to have good thoughts about this process if you keep breaking those promises to yourself. So... Just in general, in life, you don't want people breaking promises to you. So why are you breaking promises to yourself? Like, come on now. If you love yourself, keep your promises to yourself. If you want your, if your friends and your significant other, like if they are not keeping their promises, you might feel like, wow, do they not necessarily care? Like promises are something that should be honored. Like your word should be honored. So if you say you're going to do something, do it. Step number five is going to be avoid punishment. I personally think that you should not feed into negative behaviors. So say you had a cheat meal. That doesn't mean you have to keep eating crappy all day. Like, okay, I had a little fun at lunch. I'm back to my regular scheduled program at dinner. Even when you think about it, so say you go on vacation, you drink a lot, you eat a lot, but when you return back home, it's time to get back to your regular scheduled program. You don't have to go on a binge spree. Like, do not entertain your mistakes. Like, okay, and you did it. So guess what? Keep going. Like, if you fall down in a race, are you just going to lay there? Like, you got shit to do. Get up and keep going. Like, it's, it's just as simple as that. Like, you don't have to beat yourself up about it, but just do better. Do better the next day. Tip number six is going to be monitor your progress. And this could look like taking before and after pictures. It can be writing down your measurements. This could be weighing yourself. I personally like to weigh myself every day just so I can have an idea of what I'm doing throughout the week. Um, I personally don't track calories, so I feel like weighing myself every day can kind of help me figure out, oh, did I eat too much today or did I not exercise enough today? And some people might find that like toxic, but if you never weigh yourself and then one day you just look up and you up 40 pounds, like you're going to be like, how did I even get here? But I think it's a healthy way to keep yourself in check. and maybe not every single day but like at least like once a week you should be weighing and checking in with yourself um and then honestly sometimes the scale just does not move so that thing is important to take those measurements and take pictures because that way you're actually seeing the changes if you're seeing the pictures you're seeing your numbers go down as far as your measurements like fall in love with the fact that you're literally carving a new body for yourself and that can be like such a beautiful process. Like you have these pair of jeans like that you just never could fit. And now the jeans fit you like this and you look great in them. So really just romanticize shaping your body up to the way you want to look. Tip number seven is to make your food pretty. And this might be my favorite tip is because like 
sometimes we can you can uh you can just buy like you know cuter plates and make sure you're plating your food cute and if you don't really know how to do this uh the simplest thing you can do is get on pinterest so you can get an idea of how to make your plate just look beautiful add more color to your plate add more fruits add more veggies and it's like at the end of the day you're taking in good stuff and it's beautiful to actually look at as well Something that you can kind of do is sometimes I'll make me like a sleepy girl mocktail and I'll put it in a wine cup. Like I like alcohol, so you can't drink alcohol every day, but I'm putting it in a wine glass. I'm making it a beautiful experience for me. Um, if you want to spice up your water, put fresh fruit in your water, like make it visually appealing so you can actually want to do it. Because like drinking water just out of a water bottle, you might be like, oh, this is fucking water again. Like, but cut some lemons, cut some cucumbers, like make your water beautiful and make it taste a little bit better as well. Yes, but certainly not least is fall in love with taking care of yourself. And just specifically for me, um, I had an issue with my thyroid a few years ago and I stayed at the same weight about like 198 for two years straight. It didn't matter what the heck I was doing, what I was eating, like I just could not lose the weight. And I kind of found myself in this space of, oh, it's my thyroid. And even if you're in the thyroid community, you will see that a lot. Oh, I'm having such a hard time losing weight. But I had to separate myself from that and shift my mindset, like I said previously, and believe that I could actually lose the weight and like start to change some things around. Because I also think the problem is we see weight loss as a daunting task. We see getting our life together as a daunting task. Like it's just gonna take forever and it's just like, no. Fall in love with the process. Fall in love with learning what works best for your body. Fall in love with noticing, oh, these foods work good for me. Like I notice if I eat this kind of food, I feel great. And it's just like, you really have to learn how to fall in love with just taking care of you. And we we blast out, oh, self-care, self-care. And it's usually like a facial or like getting your nails done or going to get a massage. But taking care of yourself, your insides, your weight is one of the best forms of self-care that you can do because you're taking care of the inside of you. Like if you're not healthy on the inside, you're not going to be able to reach purpose you're not going to be able to live long for your kids or whatever you're not going to be able to physically do the things you want to do because this weight is holding you back but it doesn't have to be a hard experience it doesn't have to be a stressful experience it doesn't have to be a depressing experience just fall in love with the entire process of it because at the end of the day you're building a new lifestyle for you and your legacy after you learn to just set new expectations for yourself and honestly that is the thing that has kept me going it's just like i don't really fall into the place where i'm just like oh when am i gonna lose this weight it's just like no i just fell into the process of this is a lifestyle I'm gonna go get me a green juice. It's beautiful. I'm gonna get a beet juice. Like, it just feels good. I feel good. I'm taking care of myself. I'm seeing the changes in my body. So it's just like, I feel like when you start to see it, you will really start to believe it. But with that being said, I want you guys to really start to reevaluate your weight loss process and figure out some ways that you can help kind of like spice up your um, romantic situation with your weight loss journey and it doesn't have to be hard like it can be little stuff guys but i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe